Thank you, Sarah. And thank you to everyone here who is in attendance with us. Um, today we're going to be talking about SimTrans Transaction Manager. Um, my name is Trent Patterson. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. So what exactly um, is SimTrans? So SimTrans is an online transaction manager that bridges the gap between SigmaNest and your other business systems. Um, this can be used as a one or two way communication system between your ERP system and SigmaNest as well. Um, so what is a one-way and a two-way communication? So one-way system delivers information from your ERP system into SigmaNest, which can be visible on the shop floor. Um, a two-way system is going to include communication from your ERP um, system to SigmaNest, plus the capability of writing back to your ERP system. Um, let's say, for instance, with a two-way, um, a machine operator is using color offload. They can update the program to show that it has been run and return um, a remnant back into the sheets inventory um, to be used for future nest. So what exactly is going to be the goal of SimTrans? So SimTrans is an automated tedious data entry task. Um, so this can be with inventory, work orders, and completed jobs. You can also provide real-time analytics, and you can also reduce the risk of human error. So what is a SimTrans transaction? So transactions are units of work that are performed against a database. Um, so changes are made during a transaction are permanently committed in a transaction if successful. So as we can see here um, on the slide, this is going to start out with your MRP or ERP system and it's going to initiate the transaction. Uh, from there, SimTrans is going to read the transaction, SimTrans executes the transaction, um, SigmaNest updates any changed information, and then SimTrans is going to log that transaction. So kind of going into it a little bit more, how does SimTrans transaction work? Um, first, transactions are initiated by your MRP or ERP system. Second, SimTrans reads and attempts to execute the transaction. Finally, if successful, SimTrans passes any changed information to SigmaNest database and updates the transaction log. So how transactions are created. So transactions are loaded into a transact table by the following methods. You can either directly edit the transact table using SigmaNest SQL Manager. Um, you can enter the data through a SQL query, or you can also import a CSV file into the transact table, which we'll take a look at. So going ahead and taking a look here at our sample CSV file. Um, so what this is, this is where you can kind of see a bunch of information. So we have our transaction types, which you saw in the PowerPoint how these are going to either create shapes, these are going to create sheets, um, it's going to give you a bunch of information. You also have districts, which that's just going to be routing numbers used to connect SimTrans to specific SigmaNest profiles and kind of much more. But with this, usually your ERP and MRP system is going to automatically generate all of this information um, and it should put it in the correct location so SimTrans can pull that, which I will show you here in a little bit. But this is just kind of showing you an example of what the master or a sample um, CSV file is and then kind of all the information that you're looking to add to it. Alrighty, so going back to the slides here, we will go ahead and move on. So you can also, so what can be imported with transactions? So this is going to be work orders, quotes, inventory sheets, cut to length orders, and much more. Um, kind of giving you a little bit more information. Um, what can SimTrans process? So Sim can, SimTrans can process geometry, DXF, DWG, and even SOLIDWORKS parts. Um, transactions in the transact table are going to kind of look like this. So SN60s um, are going to be material management. SN70s are going to be programs and work orders. Um, SN, or SN80 are going to be parts and work orders. Typically, your biggest ones are going to be SN84 and SN85. SN84 is going to be add existing parts to work orders. SN85 is going to be um, adding cat parts to work orders and then SN90s are going to be stock management. 
Um, so kind of going into some of the variables here, as you can see, we have different types. So we have transaction types, district, trans ID, work orders. So this is going to tell you more information on what these transactions mean or what it means in the CSV and what those definitions are for that. So kind of taking a little bit more into this to kind of show you where you can get that information, we'll take a look at our website. So just kind of taking a quick look inside of SimTrans here. So if we click on the question mark up top here, this will take us to our SimTrans automated kind of help center. So we can type in any transaction that we want. So if we type in SN86, we search that, that'll give us an SN80 transaction. So this will kind of tell us what all information that's going to be needed within those transaction tables. So if we do SN84 variables, this will tell us that a transact type is required, district required, trans ID is not, um, and so on and so forth for whatever type of transaction that you would like in, to use um, here in the near future. So going back into the slides here, we do also have a full chart of what all can be used inside of the uh, transaction. So if we take a look here, what this is also going to tell us is it's going to be a kind of quick and easy guide of giving you more information as far as what the variable is um, for your trans type and then kind of the information up top here uh, for your top columns as a kind of quick overview. Alrighty, so we're just going to go ahead and take a look now in between SigmaNest and SimTrans. So what we're looking at here is uh, we do have SimTrans currently running, but we'll go ahead and stop that. So what SimTrans is doing, it is looking at this specific file location to get any um, sample CSVs or anything like that. Um, basically, once you implement this information into your ERP system, it will put a file into here, let's say like this master one that we were looking at earlier. Um, into this, what SigmaTrans is going to do there, it's going to pull that information and then it's going to put it into SigmaNest, like I'll show you here in a second. So taking a look at the sample CSV, as you can see, I have an SN90 here that I went ahead and edited one of the names to Webinar Wednesday um, for a sheet. So we can see that take effect whenever we uh, implement this into SigmaNest. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this here. Um, if we go into SigmaNest, we can see here that we currently don't have any sheets in our sheets list. So that way, whenever we implement this, it should take into effect. So if we go ahead and start running SimTrans now, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so as we can see that we're going to have some of our transactions come in for SN84s, SN83s, and SN85s. That's just going to be adding parts to work orders. Um, so our SN90s are now coming in, which is going to be our sheets, and then as you can see on the screen, we do have our sheet added to stock for the webinar Wednesday. So from here, we can go ahead and click stop if we wanted to. What this is going to continue to do is, if we didn't, just continue to pull in information from our ERP and MRP system. But for the time being, we're just going to go ahead and click stop. We'll go into Sigma Nest here. From here, we can now go into our sheets list, and we will see that we do have our webinar Wednesday sheet in here. Uh, from here we can go ahead and load into our task, we can nest parts onto it, uh, we can create a remnant and then from there once we post it out um, SimTrans can then load it back into the transact table and then let us know that we do have a remnant that is available within that. However seeing it like this if we weren't using SimTrans we would have to manually go in here, we would have to add new stock sheets, we would have to go in and add in work orders, we would have to add in parts, uh, combine those parts with work orders um, as well as the sheets. Um, just so you can see that it's a little bit more tedious of kind of manual um, labor with that, of getting everything kind of set up where with SimTrans and ERP system, everything just is going to run in the background. Um, it's going to run a lot smoother. You're going to have a lot more productivity of being able to nest all of your parts and getting all of your work orders done rather than having to worry about trying to make them. So SimTrans, like I said, it can work a lot of wonders. Um, it does a lot of great things in the background. Um, it'll help, like I said, your production and your time management so you can get more work orders out um, and be able to be more profitable. But other than that, that is going to conclude
my webinar on some transparency actions. So if you all have any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask them in the chat now. If not, our support number is located on the screen as well as um, our email and the connect site so you can kind of get any more of this information um, through the knowledge base as well. Other than that, thank you all for joining us and have a great day.